Okay, uh, nice simultaneous equations question. Um, as you know, we're trying to eliminate uh, one of the variables in x or y. Now, it doesn't matter which. Um, just um, have to either make the y's the same amount or the x is the same amount. Now, I'm going to choose to make the y's the same amount. And maybe it will be obvious why I'm doing that in just a sec. So, I'm going to multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 2. So the first equation is becomes 15x plus 10y equals 55. And the second equation becomes 4x minus 10y equals 40. Now, the reason is why, because the reason I made the y's the same is because I can now add these two equations and I get positive numbers. Because to get rid of them, that's all I have to do to get rid of the 10y and the minus 10y, add both sets together. If I'd made the x's the same, I would have had to do a subtraction, and then I would have been doing a subtraction, take away a negative. It would have been a bit annoying sometimes to make mistakes. So I'm going to add these two. Well, that makes 19x. This makes 0. And this makes 95. So I'm really solving 9x equals 19x equals 95, or therefore x equals 5. It's our first answer. We get two marks if we're doing that question. Now I need to choose either equation one or equation two, and I need to make them this um, put that x equals 5 in. Now I'll give you the same answer either way, but let's pick the easiest one. Let's pick the first one because it's all positive. So if I do three lots of my x which is 5 plus 2y equals 22 so 15 plus 2y equals 22 oh well I hope you spotted that it's not 22 it's 11 so it was 11 well I thought this was going to be positive because now if I take away 15 from both sides, I get minus 4. So therefore, y must be minus 2. Now, I can check this. This is a very worthwhile thing to do in your exam. Check that both 5, our answers are 5, and minus 2 work. Now, I'm going to use it in this one then and check it works. So just as a check, this is going to be done in your head or whatever. So I want to do 2 lots of 5, take away... 5 lots of minus 2. And I want to be getting the answer 20, so we'll see. 2 lots of 5 is 10, minus 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. So that's really 10 plus 10. That does equal 20. So, makes me happy because I know I know I'm right. So it's always worth checking in the exam to check the other the two work in the equation you didn't try first of all. I tried this one first. And then try that two answers to check they're working both they should work in both of them. And that's where our final two marks would be for finding out the why. Okay.